This is actually the culvert where the explosion happened inside here. Um, so you can see the gas explosion, what actually happened here with the tar. Uh, all the services are, are pretty screwed. Um, so it goes about 250 meters up there. Oh, thank you, sir. Yeah, so we did send the drone inside there and you can see a longitudinal crack running on the soffit of this culvert slab. It's a 150 millimeter concrete. You can see the binding is, is still in place. Um, yeah, you can see how we struggled to get that manhole open. We dropped the drone in here. So, a huge amount of methane still. So, this is what we use to scan inside sewers. And we're going to drop this down into the sewer. So, we've launched the first drone in. Because there was a massive gas explosion, we've got gas coming out all over the place here. Uh, the whole of Bree Street has been destroyed. Um, and we're going to be mapping it. We've got radar. Most of the pipes have all been displaced here. The drone will map out everything. The fire department is busy uh, purging for us. And uh, this is the Goli gas. So we've also bought the thermal images here because these thermal images pick up hydrocarbons. So wherever wherever the gas is escaping, there's still a lot of gas. You can see how you can see how the, the pipes have displaced. And um, you can see the, the the destruction that's taken place here. These thermal images are what we use for hydrocarbons. Um, this is what happens. So this is a Goli gas pipe. This is a 300 millimeter pipe. The, the pipe is actually still in very good condition. Can you believe it? Look at the stuff at the bottom of the pipe. So those pipes were installed in 1943. And um, I'm here in Bree Street. So what's actually happening is busy blanking off these pipes here, these 300 millimeter pipes because just to keep people happy where the explosion took place they don't want any gas connected whatsoever so what we're doing is we purging the lines we're keeping everything clean and our team is using a zoom pole camera uh, the fire department have been really good with us so this zoom pole camera over here goes down into the into the manhole we've got a telescopic extension and then uh, we can see at least easily 150 meters down with that it's got a carbon fiber pole and then that transmitter transmits to a tablet one of these guys has got a tablet in his pocket over there so on that tablet you can see what's going on so from manhole to manhole uh, it's probably about 700 meters of this uh, this is the culvert. There are lots of cracks in those walls, eh? Now, some of them are going to be due to age. It is age. It's not... No, no. No. So we're picking up a lot of methane. We didn't find any hydrogen... Um, H, no H2S. Uh, this is a zoom pole camera. And... Um, from this zoom pole camera, I can see all the way under the ground here. We've told them not to, not to allow any more traffic. They were driving over here. You can see there's cracks in the slab. Uh, so here we're doing the, the inspections with our zoom pole camera. Yeah. So what 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 these guys are doing is they're putting a zoom pole camera down and. Um, so that that camera
cameras down there and it wirelessly transmits from this transmitter to the iPad and then we can do 450 feet to 500 feet 150 meters plus in both directions and we can see in the culvert uh, then we do a bit of a profile the laser dots help us and then we fly the drone in so first we do a zoom pole camera because we've got lots of blocks around here we've got to cover a huge amount of area in a few hours so here they're pulling out the camera and you can see on the top that that's the transmitter I mean. so that transmitter this is the short pole it's got another six meters we can go 12 meters and uh, it's got a tilt and pan so it's got sensors it's got laser measurements and uh, it does a really excellent job it's a very efficient system with a transmitter we can cover huge distances uh, all the guys have got gas detectors on them 